Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have the first 15 things you should change in iOS 15. These are settings that I think everyone should change. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna change is go into settings, scroll down until you see your browser app of choice. And just know that you guys can change this. So if you like DuckDuckGo, you can actually make this your default browsing app. So I personally have mine set to Safari, but you can change that at any time. Also, same thing goes for your email. So if you like Gmail better than Apple Mail, you can change that right here in the settings. So that is a very important thing that you guys should change right away if you have a preference. The next thing is also in settings, if you scroll down until you see photos, click on that and make sure hidden album is turned on. This allows you to hide certain photos and put them into a hidden album that a lot of people probably don't know about. And then you can turn this off. The hidden album will go away and you can hide photos that way. Next thing is also in settings. If you scroll down to privacy, location services, then you can find apps here that maybe don't need your precise location. So anything that uses your location, double check and think about it. Do they really need my precise location for this to work? Obviously this is a drone map for my drone. I need it to have precise location, but maybe something like apartments.com that doesn't need my precise location. They don't need to know my address. They just need to know a radius where I live. So they don't need precise. So make sure that's turned off on apps that you don't need. The next thing to change, once you're in the settings app here, you're going to find your control center. So click on that and turn off any of the home controls that you don't need. So there's a lot of home kit stuff that most people probably don't need. So you can turn all that off. And while you're in here, you can actually change yours up. So this is how I have mine set up, uh, but you guys can change these around. You can move stuff, you can add stuff, remove stuff, but turn off the show home controls if you don't use it uh, and turn it off down here as well and you'll be better off. This next one's not really new to iOS 15 at all, but it is useful. So if you go into your messages and you scroll all the way down, you'll see something that says filter unknown senders. So anyone that sends you a text that's not in your normal uh, contacts, it will filter them into a different list in iMessage so they're not cluttering up uh, all of your stuff. So definitely consider turning that on if that's something that you struggle with, with a bunch of people texting you that you don't know. The next thing is kind of controversial. So it's in settings and click on home screen. When you download apps, you can add those apps to only the app library if you want. So I like my apps just going on my home screen like normal, but some people might want them going into their app library and not onto their home screen. So that's a personal preference choice that you have to make. But personally, I like mine to be just normal, but some people like library only. Now, another thing that people do is you can hide app pages. So if you hold down on something until it jiggles, and then click on these dots right here, you can hide whole pages. So I can hide this page and now I only have this page of apps. I no longer have another separate page. So if you have a bunch of clutter, you can actually quickly hide and show your app pages, which is super helpful and super useful if you have a bunch of clutter. Now here's another one, it's for the privacy nuts out there, which honestly everyone should become a privacy nut. Head into your Wi-Fi, hit the little I, and then make sure private address is turned on. Uh, I keep mine off for my home network, but every other network it is set to private address turned on. By default, this should be the setting, but I wanted to let you guys know to check that and make sure private address is always turned on. This should pretty much never be off. Even at your home, you should keep it on. But yeah, private address, very important. It randomizes your MAC address so that stuff can't track you as you move from one Wi-Fi access point to another. Now here's one that not a lot of people know about. In settings, scroll down until you find your camera app. Click on that and then you'll see in here, mirror front camera. So this will make it seem more like Snapchat where your image that you see is mirrored. Uh, if you keep this off, it'll just look normal like it always has. But if you mirror it, it'll look more like the Snapchat camera, which some people like. So here's another one for you. If you go into camera, you can also change your format. So I personally like most compatible, but you typically should do high efficiency if you want to save the most space on your phone. But most compatible is better if you have older devices like an old Mac, an old Windows computer. When you offload these onto that computer, you're gonna want most compatible. This next one, head into settings, of course, and then scroll until you find Siri and search. So, so it's actually up at the top here, Siri and search, click on that. And then you see right here, listen for Hey Siri, make sure that's turned off. You really don't need that. And it's kind of creepy and just waste battery. So keep that off. Another thing you might wanna know about is back tap. So in settings, accessibility, and scroll down until you see touch. Scroll all the way down and choose back tap. Now you sacrifice a little bit of battery life here, but you can change what tapping on the back of your phone like that does. So if you wanted to turn on your flashlight, open the camera, um, do something like that, you can use this back tap to do that. So it's kind of cool, but again, kind of a niche thing. You might get annoyed by it. 
The next thing, head into accessibility and scroll down until you see sound recognition. So I would personally turn this off, uh, but if you want to, uh, it can like alert you when it, if it hears like a fire alarm or something. Um, so I guess if you're hard of hearing, it might be helpful, but for most people, probably not useful, kind of a drain of battery. This next one's pretty cool. If you head into music and then open up a song, uh, if you click on this little menu icon down here, uh, you'll see this icon up here for playing next, and it's an infinity logo. This means when you run out of songs, this is what's coming up next. And it usually picks some pretty good songs that are similar to what you're listening to. So I have that on infinity and I highly recommend you turn that on as well because it's a great way to just be chilling. Like if you're driving your car and you get to the end of your playlist, it'll keep recommending and playing good songs that are similar to what you're listening to. So those have been the first settings to change on iOS 15. So go change them. Be sure to watch the battery tips and tricks video as well. That one's full of very good ideas for your phone. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.